Hey y'all, hey. Are any of y'all from Brooklyn, New York? Let me know in the comments. Today I want to talk about the beautiful times that I had in Brooklyn, New York, where we had block parties. Y'all remember the block parties? Well, I'm from Decatur between Sumner and Lewis in Brooklyn. Best I do or die. And baby, we had block parties that was so beautiful. Everyone come outside, all the parents cooking and, you know, food everywhere. It was so much food, I don't even remember eating the food. Um, I know we had DJs, we had the block to ourselves. We would be just up and down the block, up and down the block. We didn't have to worry about going outside that day because all the parents was outside, all the community was outside, everybody was outside. And even blocks from other blocks would come join. And I remember going to other people block parties, like on Troy Avenue down there, two blocks down, you know, just in the vicinity, but just a little bit further down. Let me tell you something. Those were the good old days. And um, I saw a video that made me want to do this video on YouTube talking about um, they had a block party and they relived, you know, the 90s. And I was like, wow, if my neighborhood on Decatur between Sumner and Lewis were to get together and relive our block, I would go home to do that because it is nothing like a family reunion block party. I could only imagine how beautiful that would be. I would love to see everybody from my childhood, and I'm talking everybody who lived on Decatur Street between Sumner and Lewis. I would love a reunion, you know, with my family from Decatur Street. I am connected to a few of them. Thank God for Facebook. Facebook allows you to still be connected to your childhood. And that is one reason why I respect Facebook because I get to talk to my big brothers, my big sisters, you know, through Facebook. And it is so beautiful to see everybody doing good. You know, my expectations of everybody is what the, what I knew they would be in this time of their lives. And it's just so beautiful to see. Um, I got one brother, His we used to call him Rabbit. He's on Facebook. And I'm just so overjoyed that I get to connect with Rabbit because he was the guy on the block that was the fly guy. Always, I'm talking always fly, okay? And he, you know, one of them bratty kids, you know, grandma with the grandma and the grandma looking good, taking care of him. You know, I never just, I always seen Rob, Rabbit and his grandma. But I know one thing, his grandma took good care of him and Rabbit was a, a privileged kid on the block. He always was fly, he always looked good. And to see him, you know, grow older with his children, his son, it's just, it's just a blessing to my eyes. It's like, you know, thank you, Lord, I'm here to see these things because everybody is not here anymore you know i don't take life for granted i love everybody the various i still see the various i still she's so pretty she was pretty back then um the various mother was my godmother and you know she had the fashion show she used to sew clothes from scratch she didn't even have to have your size she just made it you was in her fashion show you put it on and we had fashion shows okay so it's just great to see everyone um you know from the block you know um tony was one of my big brothers um you know he i'm connected to him through facebook and it's just good to see how people look now they married they're doing good you know Things that you expect of them as a child that you can, you know, actually see it lived out, you know, thank God for Facebook. So, you know, that's what I'm proud of. And um, hopefully they feel the same way about me that I turned out fine because I did. And, you know, I just back to the block parties, you know, I would love to incorporate a block party. I was trying to do that in my last neighborhood in Pensacola, Florida, uh, create a block party. They was like, what is that? And I'm just like, never mind. You know, because just because you get older, that don't mean you don't want to enjoy you and you forget. You you still remember your childhood memories and thank God for my mind because everybody don't have their mind. and We have to be mindful of that. So thank God for your minds. Thank God that you can reminisce. Thank God that you can reconnect. Thank God that you can look back on things. I still have my childhood friends, Ina and baby sister. Those were my best friends 
and still are in life. Um, and they're still in my life. And I thank God they're still here with me. I can call them. We can talk about anything. And, you know, and they, those are the two women that I say saved me from myself being a girl in Brooklyn. Because it was a lot of time I was getting ready to walk off that block and go to another block and act up. And they was like, no, you're going to chill here with us today. We good. We got things to do. Let's go play handball. Let's just sit and talk. Let's just do something. But you, you stay on the block today. And so... They were they those they were there those kind of friends because I'm I was always the girl who you know I wanted to see what other people doing on the other blocks. Matter of fact, I wanted to go to Manhattan. I wanted to go to downtown Brooklyn. I was like y'all sitting on the, the step. I want to go see some stuff, you know. And um, thank God to my father, he exposed me to downtown Brooklyn. He exposed me to Manhattan because he had um, shoe stores in those locations. So I. Shoot, all I had to do was see it once, and I want to see it all the time, because if you know, you know, Manhattan is a vibe. Like, it's moving, moving, moving. Downtown Brooklyn is a vibe, because it's moving, moving, moving. So if you're just sitting on your block and doing nothing, I'm the type of girl, let me, let me take a train ride. Let me go. I got to go or around the corner on Fulton Street. You know what I'm saying? And so it's just, you know, a lot of things that my childhood made me who I am today and I just thank God for being a girl from Brooklyn and I just wanted to share with y'all the block party moment so if you see this video and you remember the block parties in New York and Brooklyn and, and I'm talking specifically Brooklyn block parties if you from that era leave a comment let me know your experience because I would love to just hear what someone else has to say I'm 51 years old so I'm in that era you know you know and um, I'm just glad to be alive to tell these stories because it's nothing like a girl from Brooklyn because it's truly who and what and where I was created. I'm a baby from Brooklyn, okay, into Faith Medical Center, okay, right on um, Fulton Street in Brooklyn. Yes, so I, nobody can take that from me, okay, nobody can take that from me. Some may know it as St. John's Hospital, but uh, my birth certificate says Interfaith Medical Center. So, you know, it's, it's, nobody can take that from me. I had my children there. I was born there, my sisters. So I'm just thankful to be a baby from Brooklyn, New York. And so if you have your Brooklyn story, share it. And like I tell people, you know, every story is a good story. Just like I got inspiration from a family on um, YouTube, they were at their block party they recreated the block party it gave me inspiration to tell my story all stories matter 